You know what? Today's a good day. Why? We got a new Apple Watch. Well, it's inside this box. Oh, yes, sir. We got the Apple Watch Series 6 stainless steel gold with the Melanie's loop. Mm-hmm. Hey, we don't need that no more. Bask in the glory that is Apple Watch. Which is basically the same thing I got here, but this is a Series 5, and I heard they got a new gold color for the stainless steel that looks a little more gold because this one's looking a little copper, and I'm not all about that. So I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. Which I feel like is a pretty small upgrade from the Series 5, although the Series 5 was a really small upgrade from the Series 4, so I guess you see what's going on here. As far as new features go, we have an always-on altimeter so you can track your elevation in real time while you're hiking, although I heard it won't work on planes, so that's kind of disappointing because I wouldn't mind seeing it jump up to 32,000 feet. We have a two and a half times brighter OLED display that also lets you interact with it while it's in always on mode so you don't have to wake it up first. Which is actually really cool because there's so many times the screen is asleep and I'm trying to swipe down to see my notifications and it just doesn't work. We have new red and blue casings but we're not here for that. And then the main feature is the blood oxygen monitor which will let you check your blood oxygen levels in 15 seconds so you can see how much oxygen is in your blood. Which is pretty cool although I don't think I'll ever really use it. We have a new Apple S6 chip powering everything along with a U1 chip which is ultra wideband which will help us with locating things and all this other cool stuff but if you're like me that's not why you clicked on this video you clicked on it because you wanted to see the new gold which is basically the only reason I decided to upgrade yeah I don't know if that's weird but I like gold and all I'm saying is this series 5 watch be looking a little bit copper and the new gold actually looked gold in the picture so I'm hoping it actually is in person that'll be nice so with all that out of the way let's get to what we're all here for that new gold stainless steel color oh I'm so excited the box looks like any other Apple Watch box, looking very nice. Series 6 gold stainless steel case with the gold Milanese loop, 44 millimeter. you already know. Oh, that box looking, oh, it's looking nice and just look at that gold. Comparing the Series 6 to the Series 5, you can already tell that gold is definitely a lot more gold than this copper gold on the Series 5. And then, we, oh my god, look how gold that loop is. Once again, comparing to the Series 5, gold, copper. I'm excited now. So I guess first let's start with the loop because the loop's kind of boring. We got to get that out of the way. Milanese loop with a magnetic closure. Come on, just look at that. You guys can't tell me you're not excited. Ooh, Apple Watch. Oh, oh yes. Oh, look at this. You know what? Now that I'm looking at the actual band, it doesn't look as gold as I was expecting based on that picture. Looking at it next to my band I have on now, it's actually looking really close, but maybe that's just because of the lighting right now. We'll figure it out. Got the magnetic Melanie's band looking very nice, sophisticated. Yes. And now on to the actual watch face itself. Ooh, that was so smooth. Designed by Apple in California. You know we got the usual instructions. We have the USB-A charging puck, but as you can see, no power brick, which to be honest, my power brick from the Series 5 is still in the box from the Series 5, so I'm not missing it at all. We don't need them. And all that we got left is the actual watch face. Ooh, has some nice weight to it. I can see the gold peeking out, and it is definitely looking more gold. I feel like they could have did a little bit better with this sleeve, although I guess to be fair, you're never gonna use this sleeve ever again. Oh, it's in here really tight. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, okay, this is looking nice. Taking a look on the front, we have the 44 millimeter OLED screen. We have the digital crown on the side with the red ring because we are cellular, of course. We got the side button, microphone, all that good stuff. Over here on the left side, we got the speaker grill. Down there on the bottoms where all the magic happens. Apple Watch Series 6, 44 millimeter stainless steel and ceramic case. Sapphire crystal display, GPS LTE WR50M, whatever that is. Wrapped around all the sensors for a heart rate and blood oxygen monitoring. Before we actually power on the gold stainless steel Series 6 Apple Watch, we have to see if it's actually more gold than it was before. Because right now it's a little bit iffy. All right, so this might be really hard to tell, up top we have the Series 5, down on the bottom we have the Series 6, 
and it is definitely a lighter shade of gold. Up here it's a lot more copper, down here it's a lot more yellow. I mean still not the most shiny gold, it still has that brushed stainless steel look, which looks nice, it's just not super jewelry looking. We have series 6 on the left, series 5 on the right, you can definitely tell the difference here. In person though, the Series 5 does look a lot more brown and copper than the Series 6. But then as we come to the actual watch faces, this is where things get a little more interesting. We have the Series 5 on the left, Series 6 on the right. It's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but it is definitely more gold than copper. I really wish it would come over better on camera, because in person it's definitely looking a lot more like some gold jewelry. But to be fair, even in person it's kind of hard to tell the difference when you're looking at them right next to each other. That's kind of weird. Putting it up next to my first ever smartwatch, the Moto 360 Gen 1, you can see it definitely looks a lot shinier like jewelry. I would say color might be actually pretty close. Of course if you have an iPhone 11 Pro or Pro Max, we do have a different shade of gold. On camera it's really hard to tell, but it definitely looks a lot more copper on the iPhone. Right here you can tell it looks a lot more gold when it comes to the Apple Watch. So hopefully the iPhone 12 uses the same shade. But I'm sure you didn't think we can compare an Apple Watch to jewelry without actually having some jewelry. So we'll start off first with my grills from way back in the day. They don't fit now because you know I had Invisalign and whatnot. But I still have them because why not? So these are actually 10 karat gold along with some white gold on the front. Oh yeah, take a look right here. This is a good shot. You can see how gold the watch actually looks compared to this 10 karat gold grill. It's actually very close. There you go. Now bringing up the Series 5, you can see there's an immediate difference and this definitely looks a lot more copper. I'm not sure how many carats this ring is, but we can put it next to it. You can see the ring does look a lot more gold than the actual watch does. I guess it depends how the light hits the watch because of the shine. But look at that, right here you can see the gold shimmering. Then right here we have a 14 karat gold rope chain. As you can see, the chain does look a lot more gold than the watch does. Although last time when I tried it with the Series 5, it immediately made the Series 5 look super brown. That's funny, the watch is starting to look silver. Does that make sense? I think it's just because it's so reflective like a mirror. I don't know what's going on here. Why does the watch look silver all of a sudden? I don't see any gold at all. This is crazy. Somehow it keeps changing colors on me. Like what? That's weird. You can see some of that gold shimmering. But look at that. It kind of turns silver depending on how the light's hitting it. That's crazy. But look at it. Next to this gold, I don't see it. I just see silver. But right there, we can see some gold. This is really hard to get to come across on camera. You kind of have to see this in person to get the gist of it. But if you look here with the Series 5, you could definitely see the copper undertone. You know what? Looking at it like this, this looks more copper. This looks more like yellow gold. Although still, it's not as bright as I was expecting. But I guess it depends on the lighting and everything. That's what's crazy. This watch, of course, is a major fingerprint magnet. I can't even see the color shimmer. There we go. Let's have one last comparison here. They look really close right here. I shimmered them up. But you can see the Series 6 on the right side is a lighter shade, although it looks a little slight on camera. In person, I don't know. It's pretty slight too, but it is lighter. I feel like this is like the worst comparison ever. I can't tell, I could barely tell the difference. But just take my word for it, it's more gold than it was last year. Here we go. Does that kind of help? It's really hard. I see the lights reflecting and everything. I don't know. So now it's time. Let's get this watch set up and test out that new blood oxygen monitor. Ooh, nice and solid. Nice and solidly locked into place. That's weird. When you have it completely assembled, it definitely looks a lot more gold. Let's do this comparison again, shall we? So here we go side by side. We have the Series 5 on the left, Series 6 on the right. You can see how much of a lighter shade it is than it was last year. See, right here you can kind of get a gist of it. More yellow gold, more copper tone, that's what it is. Now if we're taking a look at the side, hopefully you guys can tell Series 6 on the right looks a lot more gold than the Series 5 on the left looking a lot more copper. Although it's still hard to tell, but you can definitely tell with the band. Oh, hold up, I just saw something new, I discovered it myself. The gold Melanese loop apparently used to not allow you to take it out completely like this through the loop on the side. And now it looks like they fixed it once again and it won't come out completely, which is great because, I mean, it's never happened to me, but I guess it could fall off maybe and just go get lost. But right here, there's a higher chance of it staying on your wrist if you can't completely unlatch it. So that's actually really nice. Good feature right there. Although now I'm gonna have to detach the loop to do what I was gonna do. So down here on the bottom, we have the Series 5 on the left, Series 6 on the right. 
They look very similar, although we do have more sensors down here for the blood oxygen, of course. But what's funny is I heard the Series 5 had the blood oxygen sensors in it already, they just weren't enabled. Although looking at this with the new sensors, I'm not sure how true that actually is. I mean, if you look closely, we have a bunch of square sensors over here, but over here we have a bunch of round ones. I don't know if they just changed the shape on them or what happened, but you know, something is different and maybe they weren't on here. But they said they were, so who knows. All right, so now let's put the watch on, see how well this fits. That's crazy. Putting this on, the band actually does feel a lot stronger. I'm not sure what it is. It feels kind of thicker. Maybe it's just because it's brand new and I haven't broken it in. That's a definitely a possibility. It does feel a lot more snug. I know one of the things I didn't really like about the Series 5 Melanie's loop is that it got loose throughout the day depending on how you flexed your wrist. So I feel like it might be a little bit stronger now so that won't be an issue. Because that was annoying having to constantly readjust it throughout the day. But I was like, I want that gold so I'm going to just have to deal with it. But now let's get it powered on for the first time. Oh yes. I wonder if they made the screen resolution higher. Uh, you know what? Maybe. I mean, I'm completely eyeballing this. But I feel like I definitely saw pixels when I unboxed the Series 5. I can still see them a bit, but they're not as pronounced. Alright guys, if you made it this far and you're still here, boy do I have some good news for you guys. I found a bunch of new things, okay maybe not a bunch, but I found a few new things that Apple didn't announce that they did change in the Apple Watch Series 6. The first thing of course I already kind of hit on, and that's the Melanie's Loop. It feels a lot stronger, a lot more durable, a little more tense, I'm thinking that might have a little bit to do with it being brand new, but that's definitely not 100% the case, because not only did they make it so you can't completely unravel the loop, but also the magnet is is definitely a lot stronger because it hasn't gotten loosened up whatsoever this whole time I've been wearing it while I was setting it up which is a major improvement because that was the most annoying thing of an $800 smartwatch now once I put it on I did notice it does look a lot more gold on my wrist I'm not sure how well you guys can tell but it definitely feels a lot golder and it looks a lot nicer especially compared to the series 5 that looked really copper when I was wearing it now the other thing which I'm guessing will extend to other watches other than the stainless steel models the digital crown, it has a lot more resistance, it feels a lot smoother. On my Series 5, it feels a little bit too loose, and I didn't really like that. So on here, that resistance, it makes it feel a lot more premium. As for the screen, it looks great. I want to say it looks a little higher resolution, but that might just be placebo, I don't know. Ooh, the haptic engine is working, and we are in. So I really want to try this out. We have the screen asleep, but I should be able to swipe down. <gasps> it actually worked! Look at this, the screen, we're gonna go to sleep. So right now it's gold. When I go like this, it should turn black. It is asleep as you can tell, but when I swipe down, I can instantly wake it up and see my notifications. Let's try this one more time. Go to sleep, now let's go to control center. Bam! Oh my gosh, that right there is amazing because you know how many times I had to, I was trying to get a notification, it wouldn't go, I had to tap the screen and then swipe down. Whew, big game changer right there. But yeah, this digital crown is definitely a game changer right here. Maybe not a game changer, but it feels a lot better. So now that we got all the hardware stuff out of the way, I mean, I think, at least the stuff I noticed that was different, which I'm not sure if anyone else mentioned, so there you go. Good thing you watched this video, huh? But now I want to try out the blood oxygen monitor, which I hate this because I'll probably never find it. Oh, there it is. That, that looks new. That's got to be it. Oh, that's cycle tracking. Ha <laughs> ha, embarrassing. Oh yeah, you can actually set up emojis on here, that's pretty cool. I already have one on my iPhone, is it going to sync over? Okay, that's weird, I'm not... I don't know why my emoji's not on here, oh well. We got sleep tracking, now where is the blood oxygen in this thing? Nope, that's stocks or something. It's working, some of these icons don't make sense, it's got to be this one! Blood oxygen, alright. To set it up, open your Apple Watch on your phone. You have to set it up on the iPhone. All right, I give up. I spent about 10 minutes trying to find the app on the phone. It's not there. I don't know where it is, so whatever. If you guys know where it's hidden, let me know, because it's not there. So I give up. Whatever. Who cares? Anyways, I definitely think this is a worthy upgrade from the Series 5 to the Series 6. Granted, you're going to be spending 800 bucks if you go with the stainless steel or 400 bucks if you're going with the aluminum. But, you know, if you could sell your old one and get a little bit of that money back, it's not too bad. I mean, come on. The digital crown feels a lot tenser, which I think is really great because the other one felt too loose. The Melanie's loop, you can't completely unravel it. And also, it's definitely stronger. I've been moving around doing stuff while I was setting it up. And it's still perfectly locked into place, which I love. Plus, the loop just feels a lot stronger, and the gold looks a lot better on my wrist. Now, all I can hope for next is the iPhone 12 coming out with this new shade of gold, because that'll be nice. 